Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. So the ladies of Nemophila did this great track. I say great because I've already reacted to both of them now. It's called Cursed Sha Na 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 Na. Uh, it's Sadako vs. Kiyako and it's by Sakima too. So I found the original version. I could only find a video of it that was uh, a still. So what would you call it? I could just find the track. I couldn't find anything else of it. There is a video that came from a movie. Uh, Hades told me, thank you Hades, a subscriber of mine. I, I didn't do that. I just wanted to listen to Sakima 2 perform it and absorb myself. I loved it. So that's the first one. The second one is Nemo Fila covering it, which is what brought this to light for me. So I put them back to back. My reactions included my intros and my outros. You guys can see what you think. Which one did you like better? Or did you? Or did you love them both? Because you should. <laughs> uh, what were the positives, the negatives? And uh, most importantly, how the hell do we get Sakima 2 on the road with Memo Fila? Because that would be a really great tour. I hope you guys enjoy the, both of these reactions. Here you go. <laughs> It's no secret I really enjoy the music of Sakima 2. They're fantastic. They are one of the bands that I choose to play for guests, friends that I bring on because I know I'm going to love the performances that these guys put together. This is a track that I had not heard of. Nemophila covered it yesterday and uh, one of my subscribers, Hades, clued me in. Thank you, Hades. So it's a track called Cursed Sha Na Na Na. Uh, Sadako vs. Kiyako. And so we're going to give this a go together. This is all I could find of the original. It's an audio track of it. And uh, I'll bet it'll be good anyway. And then we'll jump into the Nemophila one. And you guys can compare if you want to. But I think they're both going to be pretty good, which is why I'm excited about this. Let's do it.
check it out it was just unique it was interesting and then when his vocals came in I'm like I love this guy he's so so good <laughs> and it was it was everything I love out of this band and it's a newer track right it's I know it's not brand new but it's not one of their old hits so very very cool I wish they had done it live if there is a live performance send it my way I did look I couldn't find anything but let me know I don't know, are we ready for the Nemophila version? I think we gotta let this sink in for a few minutes here. <laughs> it's really, really good. Um, I'm eager to check their version out. I know they're big fans of the band. Obviously they covered it, but I knew it anyway. I'm excited. I'll see you guys on that one. Thank you very much. I just listened to the Sakima 2 version of this track. It's so, so good. I couldn't find a live performance, but check out the audio. If you guys are interested in my reaction, you can do so here, but it's just gold. It's so, so good. I was informed about it by Hades. Thank you. Hades is one of my subscribers, a total bro. Thank you, Hades. And Hades include me in that the ladies at Nemophila just did the Sakima 2 cover yesterday, and I was like, well, I'm hopping to it. <laughs> and so that's what we're doing here. I, I, I loved the first one. So this track is called Cursed Sha Na 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 Na. Actually, I guess I was singing it like he did in the original, but Sha Na Na Na. <laughs> anyway, Sadako versus Kyako. So killer track. I'm so eager to listen to what they do it. The drums in the intro were awesome. So I want to see what she does. The vocals are so, so good. I already see their face paint and it looks pretty cool. So anyway, let's jump into this together and let's see how they did. So I don't know if we know what this is, <laughs> I stopped it, but I meant her vocals. In the original version, I assumed it was a cowbell. It might not have been, maybe it was him singing it. Anyway, she's making that voice that I liked in the intro, the, the percussion part that I thought was cool, and she's doing it vocally, it's neat. If he did too, well then he's neat too. But anyways, let's do it. <laughs> Ah, 
track and I just heard it for the first time today. It's an exciting feeling because I'm going to listen to it more and more. That sha na 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 part reminds me of Marilyn Manson a little bit. Just that part. I think it's great. I preferred the original version but it's just because I mean come on we're talking about this amazing amazing band. He's such a great frontman but they did great. The ladies did great. I liked the part where the drummer laughed a little bit in that one section. That was cool. I was taken out of the track a tiny little bit because I was trying to focus on her vocals and they were layered. So they obviously did a second vocal track later. So I was just trying to figure out what was going on. Did she do her vocal? Then they added a layer later or is it completely separate vocals from the performance? And so I'm not too sure to be honest, but uh, that was not her, her vocal wasn't syncing up perfectly so I knew something was up and I started kind of like focusing on that a little more than just absorbing the track that's my fault really you should really suck it in and mess with the logistics later but really really great song I loved all the face plant they looked really cool and I, I enjoyed that a lot I just I think Sakima 2 is so cool so and I think Nemophila is so cool anyway let me know what you guys think which track did you like better clue me in I look forward to seeing everybody on the next one and thank you <laughs> Hey, 
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rohde. I'll see you guys on the next one.